With pressure coming from the Office of the Child Advocate and leaders at DCYF, state reps backed a plan to replace the troubled Sununu Youth Services Center with a new youth detention facility. $21.6 million, 12 beds, paid for by federal rescue plan funds that face a deadline for appropriation. Every time we delay this, and it's been delayed successfully way too many times, every time we delay this, we put at risk the, the use of the federal funds. So we got to stop the delay and we got to move forward. Even though the new facility would be much smaller, with more of an emphasis on mental health and rehabilitation, some reps believe the entire YDC model needs to go. We know that incarceration is a traumatic experience for anyone, but especially for vulnerable children. Some longtime lawmakers say this debate hasn't changed much, even dating back to when the Sununu Center was built decades ago. DCYF Director Joe Ribsom says this time, the state must get it right. We need to move towards this clinical, therapeutic, trauma-formed approach of working with kids. Um, and we've, we've gotten a long way, but it's hard to do when you're, when you're in a building that feels like a jail, right? You need to be in something that actually feels like a treatment facility. In Concord, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.